Hello, this is an English lesson for the fourth grade of high school. Our topic for today is Canada. My name is Jasna Dobratic and I will be your teacher today. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to make a poster about Canada with a topic of your own choice. You will need a notebook, a pen or a pencil, a mobile phone, a computer or a laptop, the internet and a QR code scanner. Of course, you can pause the video anytime you like. Now, let's dive into the beautiful world of Canada. Think about the following questions and make notes in your notebook. What do you already know about Canada? What can you already talk about? What seems to be the most important thing that you know? Now it's time to think about what you want to know. Make notes in your notebook and keep them all because you're going to need them later. What seems to be important to know? Why do you need to learn more? How can this be helpful to you? What do you expect to learn? When people mention Canada, what usually comes to their mind? What kind of thoughts do you get? Hockey? Moving to Canada, eh? Canadian weather change? English and French spoken there? Ice and snow? Mountains and forests? Beautiful Canada! Leave all your stereotypes and prejudice behind. It's always better to be kind and open-minded. It's a land of beautiful lakes, magnificent waterfalls, the northern lights. It's a country where you can see European architecture on American soil and magnificent animals. Trees there sweeten your life. So enjoy Canada! It's time to learn geography now. This is the first and only YouTube channel that actively attempts to cover profiles on every single country of the world. Follow this link or scan the QR code watch the Canada episode. There are some questions in the video for you to answer, but don't answer them in that puzzle tool, but write your answers in your notebooks. Once you've answered the question, just click on the skip button to continue watching the video. You can send your answers to your teacher if you have agreed to do so. Now, take a look at these sentences and try to fill them in with the missing words from the video. They are all about things Canada is special about. So, it is the second largest country in the world. Canada and the US have the longest border between any two countries. Around 80% of Canadians live within 160 kilometers to the border of the U.S. Canada has the most northerly inhabited place in the world, Alert Nunavut. It has the second largest bay in the world. 60% of all the world's lakes and 30% of all the world's fresh water can be found in Canada. Two thirds of all the cesium in the world comes from one mine in Manitoba. Cesium is a soft silvery golden metal and it is one of only five elemental metals that are liquid at or near room temperature. The largest application of the element has been for drilling fluids, 
but it has a range of applications in the production of electricity, in electronics, and in chemistry. It has two of the top 10 largest impact craters on Earth. An impact crater is formed when an object like an asteroid or a meteorite crashes into the surface of a larger solid object like a planet or a moon. To form a true impact crater, this object needs to be traveling extremely fast, many thousands of miles per hour. One tenth of the world's forests is in Canada. Over 60% of the world's polar bears live in Canada. It has the world's highest tidal range of over 16 meters. Tidal range is the height difference between high tide and low tide, that is the rise and fall of sea levels caused by gravitational forces of the moon and sun and the rotation of Earth. Tidal range is not constant, but changes depending on the locations of the moon and sun. Mount Thor has the world's highest vertical drop, as you can see in the photo. Quebec supplies about 70% of the world's maple syrup. And now it's time to practice some vocabulary. There are two links and two QR codes, so just follow the links or scan the QR codes and practice your vocabulary. How do Canucks say A out and about? Canuck is a nickname for a Canadian, sometimes bearing a negative implication, but more often wielded with pride. There are certain stereotypes about how Canadians speak, and this particularly refers to the pronunciation of A, out, and about. A is a Canadian question tag. If you say, it is a very nice day today, and add A to the end of that statement, you turn it into a question that will require a friendly reply from the person you're talking to. I'll give it a try and read this dialogue in the Canadian way. It was a really good festival, eh? We camped and slept out under the stars every night. What I like about festivals is that they are never boring. So here is a table with some exclusively British words. Copy it in your notebooks and try to fill in their American counterparts. So in British English, you say toilet or loo, but in American English it's a bathroom or a restroom. Canadians say washroom. A quid in British English is one pound in money and a buck is a US, Canadian or Australian dollar, but Canadians also say loony and that is only one dollar coin. It has a picture of a loon on it, which is a large North American bird that eats fish and that makes a long high sound. Trainers are only for the British and sneakers for Americans, but for Canadians they're runners. The British say a dressing gown, Americans, a bathrobe, and Canadians, house coat. And in British English and American English, they say an electricity bill, but in Canadian English, it's a hydro bill. When electrification began in Ontario, most of its electricity was generated by turbines driven by Niagara Falls. Hydroelectric power from the falls became synonymous with electricity and, as is often the case, was shortened to hydro. Have you heard of these words? 
toque, beaver tail, buckle double, Molson muscle, kerfuffle, knapsack, chinook. Do you know what they mean? These words are used only in Canada. So a toque is a knitted hat. Beaver tail is fried pastry dough smothered in toppings like Nutella chocolate spread. Double double is an oversized cup of coffee with two creams and two sugars at Tim Hortons or Tasty Donut Centers. Molson Muscle is a beer belly. Kerfuffle is commotion, fuss, or disagreement. A knapsack is a backpack. And Chinook is the warm wind that comes over the mountain during the winter to melt the snow and raise the temperature. Do you know which celebrities are Canadian? Actor Ryan Reynolds, singers Avril Lavigne, Celine Dion and Justin Bieber, James Cameron, the director of Avatar and Titanic, and business magnate Elon Musk are all from Canada. Now, remember step one and step two? It's time for step three. Take a look at your notes from step one and step two. What have you learned so far? How has this lesson answered all your questions about Canada? Have you found out all that you wanted to know? I'm sure there are some things you still have to find out. Find a topic from your list of things you would like to know about Canada that this lesson hasn't covered enough or at all. Do some online research. Make sure to use reliable sources. Present what you have found out by making a poster. Send it to your classmates and leave your feedback on at least one poster from another classmate. And here is a checklist for your poster. May it be full of smileys. We have reached the end of this lesson and I really hope that you have enjoyed it. So until next time, goodbye.